we present FISCAP, the first method for physically plausible, markerless and global 3D human motion capture, which runs in real time and with a single color camera. Our approach includes physics-based constraints and is aware of foot-to-floor contacts. The proposed formulation results in smooth and more physically plausible 3D reconstructions than previous methods. Most existing monocular 3D human pose estimation methods compute root relative joint positions or angles, which means that the root position of the kinematic character is fixed to the origin of the coordinate system. As a result, they cannot capture global 3D character motion. For our comparisons, we extend the HMMR and HMR approach. We find the global 3D position by optimizing an alignment of the skeleton to 2D and 3D joint detections. However, due to the depth ambiguity of monocular capture, depth instabilities and foot sliding are still very apparent. Moreover, most of the existing works are not aware of the floor, which causes spurious foot penetration into the calibrated floor plane. Due to the error accumulation in existing monocular 3D human pose estimation pipelines, the resulting 3D poses often exhibit unnatural body leaning. Jitter, especially apparent in self-occlusions, is also one of the common artifacts and severely impairs the physical plausibility and practical usability of the reconstructed 3D poses, in particular in computer graphics applications. Compared to previous works, FISCAP captures much smoother 3D motion with barely any foot sliding or foot-to-floor penetration. Our approach accepts a monocular image sequence as input. This sequence is first fed to stage 1, which estimates 2D and 3D joint positions and returns skeleton joint angles and global 3D position, as well as orientation of the body purely kinematically without considering physics constraints. In stage 2, 2D joint detections are processed by a neural network to predict contacts and motion states. The network returns binary labels, indicating foot contact states and whether a pose is stationary or non-stationary. Here, we show the outcome of stage 2. For heels and forefeet, the green color means in contact and red means otherwise. For the root, green means stationary and red means non-stationary pose. Stage 3 transforms the kinematic motion estimate into a physically plausible global 3D pose sequence that corresponds to the image and adheres to anatomical and environmental constraints imposed by the laws of physics. Core idea is to solve an energy-based optimization problem to find joint torques such that the equations of motion with constraints are fulfilled. The entire algorithm runs in real time at 25 frames per second. Here we show comparisons with other state-of-the-art monocular 3D pose estimation algorithms. FISCAP significantly mitigates unnatural sliding as can be seen here. Also, thanks to contact detection and physics-based contact handling, foot-to-floor penetration is not observable in our result. Note that our physics-based motion capture algorithm also mitigates unnatural body leaning. As can be seen, the unnatural foot sliding and jitter are significantly reduced in our approach. Our results can be directly used to animate a virtual character in a physically plausible way, which is important for applications in computer graphics and animation. Our algorithm captures 3D motion in a more physically plausible way than related methods. However, our physics-based pose optimization, which corrects possible errors in the initial, purely kinematic pose estimation, can lead to results with a slightly higher 2D reprojection error or temporal lag. In all our experiments, we used a fixed set of parameters for our method. The user can control some of these parameters to prioritize certain properties. For instance, when capturing fast motion and setting a lower derivative gain, 2D overlay of the motion capture result is better, but may maintain more artifacts of the initial kinematic pose estimate. In contrast, a higher gain may lead to a slightly worse 2D overlay, but prevents physically implausible artifacts better. Physical plausibility is a subjective property. Hence, we also conduct a user study, shown here. 
Our reconstructions are often preferred if the results of other methods. Here we show more visualizations of our high quality motion capture results. For instance, from a free moving virtual camera and for difficult motions such as backflips and jumping. Thank you for watching.